So we're going to start with shoulder press with the barbell. Um, I always start with compound lifts because that's kind of usually what takes the most energy. So I like to get those out of the way first. So we're going to smash those, do some, do one warm up set, and then we'll do four working sets. Okay, I must say my shoulders are pretty strong usually. I think I've got really good genetics in my shoulders. Um, never had issues there. So we're gonna start five kilograms on each side. If it goes well, next time we'll have 10 kilograms, then we'll have 15 kilograms, and then we'll have 20 kilograms if it all goes fine. So let's see how it is. That actually wasn't too bad. So we'll put on we'll put on the 10 and then we'll see how that goes. And then we'll just keep on upping the weight until I can't push anymore. Or until my form starts to crap. Like a lot of people with this movement and stuff, what I pick up is they tend to jump off the knees, which I guess isn't the end of the world. But I like to keep the strain on the muscle I'm, I'm exercising. So I want to feel it in my shoulders, not in my legs. So again, this is another controversial exercise when it comes to what is your max or how much weight do you pull? Because like honestly, most people push it through their legs, but to keep like firm on the ground and then push it through your shoulders, that's a completely different ball game. So yeah, just focus on really like feeling it on the muscle group you're training rather than just ego lifting and just pushing the weight. Because that's why I believe most people don't look the way they want to look. Let me just put it that way. Because they don't focus on the actual thing. So let's do the next one.
that was horrible. I think I think I'll take the same weight and then for the last one we'll add on the fives. So it's fifteen aside. But I'm definitely not gonna be able to push twenties today. But we'll try next time though. I'm actually really surprised like how how my physique still looks after taking such a long break. I've definitely lost a lot of vascularity. Like I used to have like way more veins and stuff popping, especially my arms and shoulders and stuff, but I'm sure it'll get there again in the next like two weeks and stuff. Okay. So we got one more set left. I'm gonna add the fives. Um, but this is also another exercise where you can really injure your lower back if you don't do it properly, especially if like bend in. So you don't want to push it too hard. Like you should be able to do at least like four reps, especially if you're doing this alone. If you have someone behind you, well, I guess that wouldn't even help because it's such an awkward exercise. So maybe not the safest exercise. So if you're just starting out, gymming and stuff, I wouldn't recommend it. I'd say rather do like a do this on the Smith machine to keep the weight in place and stuff. It might be better. But for me, I just prefer the Olympic bar. So let's get the last one done. This gym is so cool. They always let me film content and stuff. Staff is so friendly. Um, if you're in South Africa, Ignite Fitness. It's a really good gym. Really cool aesthetic to it as well, as you can see. Really cool lights and stuff. The best staff. So I'm just going to pack this weights off. And then we're going to get into the next exercise. Okay, cool. So exercise number two. And this, in my opinion, is the best exercise for shoulders. Um, it's one of my personal favorites too. A lot of people do this wrong as well, I think, or at least not like optimized as lateral raises. This really builds out the shoulders. So I'm gonna do this now. I'm gonna start with eight kilograms, really focus on, you know, on the muscle. Um, so we're gonna do four working sets. So let's see how it goes. And by the way, guys, again, look at your legs with this exercise. Cause again, most people like bounce it off their legs which isn't optimal. Just focus on your shoulders instead and just pull it all the way up. Really feel the mu mind-muscle connection. It's way better. Usually like warm ups with warm up with the eights, but that was actually quite heavy, so I'll just count that as a working set. And then we're gonna do three more working sets. We're gonna try the tens now, see how that is. If I struggle, we'll keep on the tens. If I can do at least ten with relative ease, we'll go a little bit heavier. So yeah, we'll see how that goes down. Man, I'm definitely gassed. 
my cardio definitely took a knock. I would say that's the biggest thing. Like the weight don't feel that heavy to lift, but I get fatigued really quickly. Like I'm out of breath. But yeah, so my stamina is not too great. Should increase soon though. Just by doing the work all the time, putting in this effort. Do you guys notice like how much more vascular my arm looks with out tattoos? That's the one sad thing about tattoos. Like I wanted to get another sleeve on this arm as well, but it just takes away so much aesthetics. Like you can barely see my veins or anything compared to this arm. So yeah, so one negative about tattoos. Feeling pretty pumped. Yeah, that was really heavy. I'm gonna use the same weight again. Maybe even for both the sets I have left. We'll see how the next one goes down. Man, I missed coming to gym. Do you guys know how exhausting it's been for the last like two months where I couldn't gym? I was literally just chilling in my apartment, doing nothing. I was very unproductive, barely worked at all. I was just like binging a lot of series and stuff. I don't know, for me it's very difficult to stay motivated and disciplined and stuff if I can't like train and I don't know. For me, gym really is the most profitable thing I do. Like now when I get home, I'm feeling pumped after a shower, I'm feeling fresh and I'm just ready to start working. But if I wake up in the morning in my apartment and I'm there the whole day and I don't get fresh air and stuff, I don't know, it's just very hard for me to work. It's probably just in my mind but yeah I used to go gym like three times a day literally I would wake up in the morning and go do cardio treadmill which I do every day then I would go do weight training the afternoon and then in the evening I might go just like I don't know swimming or maybe some cardio again sometimes I do some boxing um, not so much for the benefits of training like muscle building or losing fat or whatever, just because the mental clarity I get from gymming, I don't know, it just helps me a lot to work and stay focused. So I definitely recommend gymming if you don't gym. What's wrong with you if you don't gym? Anyway, okay, let's do the next one. Definitely pumped. <laughs> okay, I've got one more set left, and then we're gonna do one more exercise for shoulders, and then we are done. Like I said, I'm not gonna push too hard today, otherwise I'll be my muscles will be sore for the next like five years. And <laughs> then I'm kidding, but realistically, at least like a week, that's gonna prevent me from training again. So yeah, we'll push harder next week, or the next time I train chest and shoulders, we'll push harder. And then every single time, we'll just keep pushing harder and harder and harder. It's the only way you can build muscle, man. Got to keep pushing harder. Whether it's more weights, more reps, more sets. Just keep pushing yourself. It's the only way you can get through it. Okay, let's do the last one. I'm going to take the same weights.
Okay, so we're going to do the last exercise now, and then we are done. So I don't do front delts because I feel like you activate so much front delts when you do stuff like bench press anyway. So a lot of people walk like this. It's like, <laughs> I don't know, they look like that kind of vibe, like a chimpanzee. It's because they overtrain the front delts. So instead, I try and, and train my rear delts more just to get my posture straight. Um, it's kind of an awkward exercise to do. I guess there's a couple of exercises you can do, but this is the one I prefer. Or there's another one, but it's back then. The lighting there is very horrible. It's like super dark, so you won't be able to see like really clear. So I'll do it with the dumbbells, and I'll show you guys a really awkward movement. But yeah, we're just going to do three sets, three working sets. Um, not going to do a warm-up here because I'll take lightweight for all these sets anyway. Because it's kind of hard to do because you want to activate that rear delt, not activate your back. So let's do the first one. told you guys it's an awkward exercise. Basically what you want to do is you want to try and keep your arms as straight as possible even though I know it's almost impossible and then bring it as up as possible. So arms straight as possible and up as far as possible. But you really want to feel that like mind muscle connection in your rear delt. A lot of people they swing and they use their backs as they would do this. That's just fucking stupid. You want to activate your shoulders, your rear delt. So we're gonna do two more of these sets and then we're gonna do the physique check and then we are done for the first day back. I actually really hate this exercise, it's horrible to do. Um, the machine one, some gyms have it. It's almost like reverse pec deck, so. It does that, so you pull it backwards. Like I said, that machine is all the way in the back, then super dark there, so I won't do that. Um, but yeah, we'll push one more set. And I'm pretty keen to get home get some protein in, I haven't eaten anything. It's Monday today. Is this Monday today? Yeah, it's Monday today. Um, I usually cheat meal on Sunday or just eat like a shit ton of calories. So on a Monday, I won't eat a meal before gym. I just train fasted because I'm still kind of full and bloated from the previous day's cheat meal. Yesterday I ate like burgers and chips and stuff like that or fries or whatever you want to call them in your country. So today I'm super bloated. Um, but then from tomorrow I'll start eating before gym again as I get back into my usual routine. So if you overconsume calories the one day, try and eat a little bit less the next day. Pretty simple, but it works for me. <laughs> so let's get the last one done. I can't even speak. Let's get the last one done and then we'll do some poses.
sweet, we are done. We are done. So, just do a physique check and then we'll head home. Okay, cool. So, we're going to do a physique check and see what it looks like. I'll probably do this every single time and then it'll be cool to look over a couple of weeks or even months to see what the progress is and stuff. So, I'm going to put down the mic, take off my vest and then we'll see what it looks like. Um, it's pretty average, <laughs> it's not in the best shape. I have some body fat here that I definitely need to get rid of. Unfortunately, this is always the last to go, so I'll lose even more fat to my arms, my face, chest, legs, and then this will go. So I think my body fat's around 12, 13%, not completely sure. But I'll show you guys what a big difference lighting makes. So let me just step a little bit back. Like, this lighting is horrible, as you guys can see. It's such a big difference. But then when you walk inside, yeah, it's like, whoa. <laughs> so lighting is ultimately always the most important thing. So again, don't be fooled by lighting. But yeah, I guess that wraps up today. See you guys tomorrow for back and traps. Cheers.